Story recap here. Today, I'm going to explain an action, adventure, and drama film called Immortal. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. Eric lives his life like a bum, mindlessly wandering across the woods in Norway to keep himself away from society. But one night, he struggles from a nightmare and sees that the trees around him start going up in flames. When he wakes up the next morning, the area around him is scorched. Furthermore, his legs suffered from burns. Despite his aversion to civilization, Eric knows he can only survive for so long with his minimal resources. So, he walks to the nearest town to scavenge for supplies. Fortunately, there weren't many people around. He also breaks into a clinic and takes anything useful he can grab, alongside a few lollipops as a treat. Then, he goes to a public restroom to tend to his burns and trim his long hair. When he goes outside, a few teenagers point and laugh at him for being a bum, but he just ignores them and walks away. However, a few moments later, the teenagers are back on his tail, asking if he's lost, but they're speaking in Norwegian, which Eric doesn't understand. Due to Eric ignoring them, one of the teenagers, Ola, gets off the car to confront him. However, Eric exclaims that they shouldn't touch him. Realizing that Eric only speaks English, Ola conforms to the language to further mock Eric. With a warning, Eric tells Ola that he'll burn if he touches him. With disbelief, Ola grabs Eric by the front of his shirt, and suddenly he collapses dead. Filled with terror and guilt, Eric walks away in a rush while Ola's friends call the police. Despite hiding in a corner, Eric is caught. Meanwhile, Christine, a psychologist, deals with her emotional turmoil after her patient committed suicide. Suddenly, she receives a call from the police station asking for her assistance. Christine drives down to the station despite her recent failure and tells Henrik, the sheriff, that she has never dealt with criminals before. Furthermore, Christine only has an hour to talk with Eric until crime unit arrives. When Christine states that Eric's name sounds familiar, Henrik tells her that Eric was involved in a fire accident three years ago where five people died. Even though zero clues pointed to Eric's guilt in the fire tragedy, the current situation paints him as a killer, with all his witnesses saying he killed the boy. With much uncertainty, Christine introduces herself to Eric and urges him to talk. However, Eric is in distress. Moments pass, but Eric joins Christine at the table and offers him a glass of water. Meanwhile, Henrik watches the interaction over the security cameras. First, she asks Eric about his Norwegian lineage, but he's unresponsive. So, she asks about Ola instead. Christine assures him that she thinks he's innocent, but they need his help to understand what happened. So, Eric speaks up, explaining that he tried to tell Ola not to touch him. Because of his distress, Christine asks Henrik to remove Eric's handcuffs, so he obliges. Just then, Ola's parents arrive utterly heartbroken. Meanwhile, Ola's father, Bjorn, is insistent on facing Eric. However, Henrik doesn't let him. When Eric gets his handcuffs off, Christine starts asking him about the fire accident, which involved his family. But the topic is quite sensitive for Eric, so it triggers something within him. Eric says he caused the fire, but Christine doesn't believe him. Suddenly, the glass of water seemingly starts to boil, while Christine's hair rises from static. Then, Eric hovers his hand over the glass of water and shows Christine how he can manipulate the droplets of water. Confused, Christine asks how he did that, but Eric doesn't know either. Still, Christine says that doesn't prove his causation with the fire accident, so Eric starts scorching the table with his hands. Then, he asks if he believes her now. Suddenly, the lights start flickering as an electric current plagues the entire room. Immediately, Christine realizes that his emotions triggers power, so she tries to calm Eric so he can control his powers. Right away, he follows and is successfully able to stop it. Just then, crime unit arrives with a representative from the US Embassy, Hathaway, who wants to bring Eric back to America. Despite Christine and Eric's protests, they take him away. Furthermore, Eric even offers to sedate himself so he doesn't cause a problem in the helicopter. However, when Eric wakes up in the helicopter, he starts panicking and triggers an electric current with his powers, which momentarily damages the helicopter engine. Because of this, they have no choice but to give him another sedation dose. Outside, Hathaway notices that Eric is triggering a thunderstorm, so one of the officers tries to threaten him with a gun. But, Hathaway pushes the firearm away. Due to Eric's triggered attacks, the helicopter malfunctions and crashes into the sea. Still, Eric saves himself and Hathaway from the helicopter. After giving her CPR, Eric immediately leaves. A few moments later, emergency services arrive at the scene. Meanwhile, Christine, who's been watching the news, immediately looks for Eric, but he's already outside her home, so Christine doesn't hesitate to help him. Christine says that she'll bring him to her friend's cabin so they can figure out Eric's situation. But before doing so, Christine picks up a few things from the store, 
While left alone, police cars drive by, which triggers Eric's powers again due to his anxiousness. When Christine goes back to the car, she starts suffocating. Immediately, they both get off the car. After the minor incident, they drive in solitude. At the place, Eric tends to his burn wounds and thanks Christine for her help. Then, Christine asks when Eric's power started. He says that it was during the fire accident at the farm. Meanwhile, Hathaway wants to capture Eric because she finds him dangerous, especially after seeing how he made the helicopter crash. On the other hand, while Eric is asleep, Christine gets scolded on the phone by her friend for hiding Eric because he's a criminal. Not knowing what to do, Christine calls Henrik but she hangs up before saying anything. When Eric wakes up, Christine tells him that he needs to turn himself in. Despite that, Eric follows Christine's orders, but before they enter the vehicle, Christine hugs him and changes her mind about turning Eric in. So, she accompanies him to the farm instead, where Eric wants to go to find out more about himself. He explains that something on the farm is calling out to him. After an uneventful ferry ride, Christine goes to refill gas and sees the news covering Eric's case and her association with him. So, she immediately goes outside only to find Eric missing. However, he's only a few feet away from the gasoline station, looking out into the sky. Immediately, they get into the car to leave. Right away, Christine scolds Eric for leaving, but Eric explains that he was having a vision about being in a different universe, and amidst all of it, he saw a large tree. Suddenly, they hear police coming after them, so Christine tries to escape, but a truck gets in their way. When she tries to overtake the truck, they narrowly avoid crashing into another vehicle. Yet, it was enough to make Eric panic and trigger his electric powers, so their vehicle malfunctions. Because of this, the truck stops to scold them, so Christine asks the driver for help, pretending that Eric is sick and needs to go to the hospital. So, they manage to hitch a ride. However, the police are right on their trail and manage to stop them before passing the bridge. Eric turns himself in, but Christine still tries to protect him. When Christine gets close to the police officers, they subdue her on the ground, making Eric angry. Due to his angry outburst, he starts summoning an erratic thunderstorm which strikes lightning upon him. Because of this, electricity starts conducting from his hands which comes from the sky. In an instant, it makes Eric's head hurt, but the lightning strikes won't stop, especially when they're on a metal bridge. Everyone witnessing the calamity starts running away, except for the police officers. So, Christine tries to calm him down, but the police officers are still trying to threaten them, which doesn't help Eric's situation. Further angered, Eric starts trying to control his lightning powers and manages to disperse the storm but it heavily affected his physical state and knocked him unconscious. Due to the shock, nobody tries to help except for Henrik, who offers to take them away and drive him to the hospital. Meanwhile, Hathaway is still adamant about capturing Eric because he's a threat to the religion and what people believe to be gods. In the radio station, Eric hears that he's being compared to Thor, the Norse god associated with lightning. When they get to the hospital, Eric suddenly flatlines, but he wakes up in an MRI scan after the doctors were able to bring his heartbeat back. He starts panicking, but Christine calms him down from outside. Meanwhile, outside the hospital, people have gathered outside to see Eric. On the other hand, while Eric gets his MRI scan, he starts panicking and triggers his powers again. Due to this incident, he damages the electricity within the hospital. Then, Eric hears that one of the patients is in danger because the defibrillator stopped working. On his way to save the patient, Bjorn appears behind him with a gun, still grieving the death of his son. Thankfully, they manage to calm him down and put down the gun. Immediately, Eric goes back on his quest to save a random kid while Henrik appears to take Bjorn's gun away from him. When Eric gets to the child's room, he uses his hand to generate a spark of electricity, enough to jumpstart the kid's heart back to life. When he goes outside, people are gathered to idolize him, all trying to get handshakes and fist bumps out of Eric. Despite his initial shock, Eric immediately warms up to the treatment and starts minimally interacting with the people. Afterward, they drive to the farm for Eric's peace of mind. Henrik hands a book to Christine on the way there, where she reads the lore about Norse mythology, so they assume that Eric might be a descendant of Thor. When they get there, civilians are still chasing their vehicles, eager to meet Eric, but police secure the area for everyone's safety. Finally, they get to the farm where Christine and Henrik check the burned wreckage from Eric's past. When Eric follows, he suddenly drops to the ground in a specific area of the farmhouse, exclaiming that he can't move. So Christine and Henrik pull him away. Meanwhile, Hathaway's team surrounds the perimeter, and she orders them to fire at Eric if anything bad happens. However, Eric is just recuperating with Christine, still trying to process everything that's going on. An excavation crew comes to investigate the patch of land that trapped Eric earlier, so after digging through the ground, they come across a cave underneath. Before letting Eric check what's underneath, Henrik and Christine go down first to check if there's anything dangerous down there. 
There, they find a peculiar place filled with rune stones, all pertaining to Thor. Furthermore, they find a depiction of Yggdrasil, the world tree that shows the nine worlds of Norse mythology. Then, they find a mysterious chest. Finally, they call for Eric to look around the cave. When Eric gets down there, he's immediately drawn towards Yggdrasil. Suddenly, his hand starts moving on its own, pulling him towards the chest. So, one of the crew members helps him open it to see what is inside. Inside, there was Thor's glove, belt, and hammer. He immediately equips everything he finds which triggers sparks of electricity all over. Turns out, the hammer is triggering another storm, and when lightning strikes down on Eric, the hammer takes the blow, protecting him. Because of the threat of Eric's weapons, Hathaway orders her crew to fire at Eric. However, they end up killing Christine instead. Due to the loss of his loved one, Eric starts getting angry. A soldier tries shooting him, but the bullet stops before it can even hit him. Then, Eric takes his hammer and throws it into the sky, making it absorb lightning. When it goes back down to his hands, he starts pointing it towards the people, letting out all of his powers in an angry rampage. Afterward, news all over the world started covering his story. However, there was no more sign of Eric anywhere. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.